Hi, my name is Ron Kaufman. I've been a scuba diver for 46 years. And I know what a privilege it is to be able to go around the world, come to beautiful places like here in the Maldives, and experience the joy of nature and the warm, wonderful people of this lovely island nation. When we go scuba diving, sometimes we see things down on the reef that really don't belong there. Bottles, cans, plastic, fishing line, rope, cables. And so we started a project years ago, my wife and I, called Clean the Island, Clean the Reef. And when we go scuba diving, we take with us these special bags to be able to gather and carry the trash. Now, recently, we found a small island, uninhabited, called Ariadu, here in the Maldives. And it had an old, old dock, which clearly had not been used for decades. Only the posts were left. But I saw that and realized there must have been a time when people were living there, and I'll bet there's trash on the reef. So we started to discover it and clean it up. And then we realized this was going to take a team. And so we assembled a team of outstanding divers who went together under the water to bring up the rope, to bring up the cables, to collect the trash. And that's what you're going to see. We went down under the water to bring up what should not be under the water so that it can be properly buried on land. We're committed to cleaning the reef and we want to challenge you, wherever you are and wherever you live, to clean your part of the island, clean your part of the reef, clean our part of this beautiful island that we share. Think about it. Planet Earth, spinning through space, a small, sacred, precious island where humanity and nature can live together. We can all do our part to leave this place a little better than we found it. Clean the island, clean the reef. scuba diving when we find trash on the reef. It hurts us to see the plastic bag and the cans and the bottles and the fishing nets and so we just mwah, love picking it up and bringing it to the surface. strong strong current I can connect under the reef and hold on we have a knife with a strong saw edge for big ropes 
but most of the time I use this one which is a pair of scissors for cutting through rope or fish nets or whatever may need to be cut now also in here I have the balloon for coming up safely at the end of the dive so we run this up to the surface so they can see and come pick us up on the boat and on this side we have an extra trash bag so if this one gets full I have another one to still be able to fill up and of course another clip to hold the bag like on this side let's see when I come up how much trash we have This island used to be used for agriculture, growing coconut palm, and now no more. It's just an abandoned small island, and you can see that long ago there was a dock. The dock is since destroyed. But if there was a dock, that means there were people, and if there were people, there's probably trash. So we started diving here with the intention of cleaning up the reef. We wanted it to be beautiful again, so the coral can grow, so the fish can swim, so that it can be a healthy reef. And we had no idea how much trash we were going to find. Oh my God. So on this trip, we've now assembled some of the biggest pieces of trash that we found. Old ropes, old cable. Yesterday we brought up two tires from cars. And we're gonna go down as a team to get it all, tie it up and bring it up to the boat. Let's do this.
great fun. Great team of people down there. Fantastic. What a fantastic team of people to go down with. Everybody focused in a different area, working together, and the reef is getting cleaner and cleaner and cleaner. More like this. We'll bring up the next time. There's about 30 meters of steel cable. So we have to go to Male and get something that we can cut it with. Uh, Over where we were soaring on the road. Yeah. <laughs> and we finally got it. But before I got there, I might have been after the rope came away, I went over and then there was the tiniest, tiniest little scorpion fish that I've never seen. <laughs> and he was bouncing along. When you see the reef with all of these things on it, it feels sad. And then after you've taken it up, you look back at the reef and it's clean, it's beautiful, it belongs to the fish again. It's just very, very, very nice. There's one piece that we will leave down there. There's an old anchor, the kind that has the four legs that go like this, and it's on an iron chain, and the chain is baked into the reef, so it's not going anywhere. And on the anchor are big, beautiful chunks of coral. So we'll take a photograph and bring it up for you afterwards, but that, that one stays down there. And it's almost like a place you go and, you know, <laughs> reverence for the reef. <laughs> surface interval between the dives is necessary because there's nitrogen that needs to come out of the body. So we stay on the surface for about an hour and then we can go down for a second dive. At the very end of this dive, only at shallow five meters, we saw another big roll, one that we had completely missed. So we're going to go down, get at on the second dive, and then we're going to go deep. We're going to go down to 20, maybe even 30 meters and scour along the bottom. There are things down there on the sand that drift down to a deep level over the years, and they just stay there until someone comes and cleans them up. We don't know what we're going to find. <laughs> yes. Whoa, hello, oh, yeah. sweetheart. <laughs> Hi, gorgeous. Hello, gorgeous. Oh. You gorgeous, beautiful, magnificent creature. Wow. <laughs> This is beautiful. You know why it comes? It's saying thank you for cleaning my reef. <laughs> Look at you, you beauty. <laughs> She's saying thank you. Thank you for cleaning my reef. sharing this beautiful world together. It's a full tank, so we can stay for a good solid one hour. The reef is almost completely clean. We've brought up almost all of the rope that we found. One more big piece will be coming up. 
So on this dive, with beautiful visibility, we're all going to go down deep. 30 meters, 25 meters, 20 meters, and we don't know what we're going to find. I'm looking for something big in the deep blue. of a traditional trash pickup trip. Not the big ropes, but wait till you see what's inside those bags. In here, you'll see all the trash that we pick up off the reef. And some of it is old rope, fishing line, more ropes, plastic bottles, Another old plastic bag. This is cable. Another plastic. But what we're looking for is like that. Now this is fishing line. And what is this? It's a lead weight that's used by fishermen to get the line to go deep. And for all that trash, one. One piece of lead weight. So you can tell that to find one of these, look how much trash. Among all of us, I think we found four or five. Let's find out. So now Jan brought back an entire bag full of trash, and inside are two weights. Let's see if we can find them.
our souvenirs are five lead fishing weights. <laughs> challenge you wherever you are and wherever you live to clean your part of the island clean your part of the reef clean our part of this beautiful island that we share think about it planet earth spinning through space a small sacred precious island where humanity and nature can live together we can all do our part to leave this place a little better than we found it clean the island clean the reef.